Hey everyone, it's Austin Tidings. I'm a local real estate agent in Virginia Beach in the Greater Hampton Roads area. Right now we're on the way to one of my flips in Virginia Beach and let's go check it out. This flip lasted four months and because I, there were tenants in it before and I gave them a little bit more time to find a new house and that helped them. And so it was a win-win, it still worked out. And we're here, let's go check it out. So right now I'm gonna run down all the numbers that I used on this house and I'm gonna be very honest with you all because there's a lot more than you think. So starting off with the payoff, since this was a pre-foreclosure situation, we had to catch the mortgage up, which was $36,000. And then we had to get the mortgage back up to date, which is the mortgage reinstatement, which was $14,000. Then there was insurance on the house, which was another 300. Holding costs or the monthly mortgage, which was 5,000. It was almost four months on this house. The utilities was another 200. And the rehab was 16,000. That's a little over $70,000 all up front right there. On top of that, we have the listing agent, which was just 1%, so 3,200. We had the buyer's agent fee, which was 9,600, uh, which was 3%. We gave the buyers some closing costs and a warranty and some updates. So the closing costs were 9,600 and the other stuff was another $1,900. So the closing after all this is done was $3,200. And the total interest back to the private money I borrowed 70,000 from them, so 10% on that is I paid them $7,000. And the mortgage, the principal remaining on the mortgage is another $174,000 in total, $280,000 worth of expenses. But we are closing this house, and this house is gonna be closed for $320,000 for a net profit of $40,000. Is it worth it for four months? I think so. Okay, I'm gonna give you all the rundown on the rehab on this property. Not too much happened to it, but we did make it look nice. So first of all, the roof was already in good shape. It was fairly new. Same thing with the windows. All the windows are fairly new, but we had to clean all the gutters out. Before, this flower bed was fully overgrown, so we ripped it out, put a new one in. Like it looked a lot better. We did have to do some vinyl work on the side, getting a lot of wear and tear damage on it. Now, as we go inside, we got a new door frame that needed to be put in. Another awesome thing was that the floors were already fairly new also in the house, so we didn't have to redo those. We did have to put a whole brand new coat of paint in the house as we go down the hallway. Not too much. Uh, down here, the door's already fairly new. Something funny though, in this bathroom, uh, the water valve and shut off go to the primary bathroom. That was all blocked off and we had to cut it open to get to the water source. So this is the primary. This house is about 13, a little under 1300 square feet. And so that's the primary bathroom. That was already fully renovated. We just had to leave it how it was. And then we have two rooms down here, which are the same to each other. And then last but not least, out back, there used to be a pool right here where this giant patch of dirt is, which will be seeded when springtime comes around, which is already feeling like spring in the middle of February, end of February. There used to be a hot tub right here. So we, in an old porch that we completely tore up put a new little wooden patio down, and then we put a new door frame on, cleaned the gutters, did a little bit of roof work, patched some holes and everything. And that is all we really did to the house, and you could do the same. So if you have any questions or wanna know more about the process of actually rehabbing a property, I would love to help. You don't wanna overspend on things, and you wanna make sure you add details in certain areas that the buyers look at, that is the most important thing is what the buyers are looking at and what do they want when they moved in. So think about if yourself were was about to move in this home, what would you want? So I always try to put high detail and high work and high effort into the property so that 
the new homeowners get the best. If you wanna learn more about creative financing and how I finance this deal, follow this page below and I'll tell you how to find creative financing and how to find off-market deals like this one.